Where I live, the images of Christmas pretty much have to do with winter scenes. There are kids and a few dogs sledding down hills. Families and neighbours are standing outside under brittle winter night skies, singing carols to neighbours as snow gently falls. Gardens are filled with people made of snow, decorated, decorated in all sorts of garb. Santa Claus is clothed in big boots, warm woolen clothes and a big hat to keep his head warm. A typical Christmas card might show a quiet village with the church stained glass windows lighted from inside, luminaria lining the walk up to the sanctuary doors and a sleigh pulled by a gentle horse gliding slowly past. There is an obligatory scene of the birth of Jesus where the Holy Family is surrounded by a cow, a donkey, doves, squirrels and other assorted animals. But in another part of the world, the scenes are completely different. Instead of snow, frosty is made out of sand. Barbecues, swimwear, suntan lotion all signal that it's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Santa is wearing a Hawaiian shirt, shorts, flip-flops, while going from house to house. Palm trees are decorated with tinsel, bright lights and seashells. A typical Christmas card might show a beach with folks sitting in, a, in chairs under shady umbrellas as elves and reindeer ride surfboards out on the ocean. There is perhaps an obligatory scene of the birth of Jesus where the Holy Family is surrounded by a cow, donkey, doves, kangaroos, koalas and other assorted animals. Now, we are pretty sure there is no evidence that Bethlehem experienced a snowstorm that the first Christmas, or young Jesus, never went sledding. All the visitors who, paid, who visited the Holy Family arrived by sleigh. We know that the Christmas card portrayals of how Christmas should be or is celebrated celebrated are simply idyllic scenes to stir warm memories whether it is snow or sand a blazing log in the family room fireplace or a bonfire on a beach a sleigh ride through a gentle forest or surfing on waves memories can be evoked by such images they are reminders of the role nature plays in our lives our celebrations are special moments. We remember that the first sledge we got, we remember being able to go swimming on Christmas morning. We remember the magical moments of coming out of the Christmas Eve service to discover a new, a new snow covered landscape. We remember the warm breeze through the open windows as we lay awake, wondering if Santa had come. Despite all our grumbling, about having to clear snow <clears throat> off the pavements or sweep sand off the house whether we worry if planes will be delayed or folks will be caught on icy roads nature is in the background of our holy seasoning gatherings celebration and thoughts which is appropriate because behind the bright star in the sky that guided travelers to discover the child behind the creatures, whichever and however many, that there were observers of the birth, behind the shepherds who tended animals on hillsides, behind the very natural event of a baby being born, is reality in that becoming one of us. God is not just making a promise to a new life, a new way, a new hope for those made in the divine image, but the promise of restoration of recreation of a new life and a new way to make and a new way is to made nat nature itself a promise to us as well as to all creation which is fulfilled at the dawn of the second advent <laughs>